All right, so Elden Ring's got a brand new update today, update 1.04. And in this video, I'm going to go over the patch notes and all the major changes that happened in this update. So before we get started, a like is always appreciated and get subscribed for more Elden Ring content in the future. And let's get started. So first, let's start off with the things that they added into the game. So they added an option to turn camera auto rotate function on and off. And they added some event phases for the NPC patches. Now, in terms of balance adjustments, they increased the Colossal Swords and Colossal Weapons attack speed and lowered their recovery time and in not including the jump attack. They also increased the two-handed attack damage for Colossal Weapons and Colossal Swords, not including the jump attack. And they also increased the physical block rate and guard boost of Colossal Sword, Colossal Weapons, Great Sword, Great Hammer, Great Axe, Great Spear, and Halberd Weapon Class. So pretty much they buffed anything big. Like if you like using anything great, that's that's great because they buffed it so like great axes great spears and any sort of colossal weapons it's all been buffed so that is pretty cool and then they also increase the damage of the grafted blade great sword and increase the damage of the devourer's scepter and they also decrease the status effect buildup of spells and incantations of the albaneric staff and dragon uh, communion seal i think i'm pronouncing that albaneric i think that's albaneric yeah yeah okay <laughs> They also shortened the length of the Madness Afflicted animation and lowered the speed of Madness Buildup Recovery. And that's it for the balance adjustments. Now, in terms of sorcery and incantation, let me tell you, if you're a mage in this game, boy, is it just, it's just buff city for you, man. You got, there, there is so many things being buffed in here in terms of sorcery and incantation. Um, I'm going to put them all up on screen. I'm not going to read them all because there is a ton of them and... If you don't know, when it says increase cast speed, that's a good thing. That's a buff. When I originally recorded this video, this is my third time or second time recording this. I thought this was a uh, debuff or a nerf. No, it's not. Increased cast speed just means that your wind up for the attack is shorter, which is good. And just a ton of them got increased cast speed and decreased recovery time. Decreased recovery time is also a buff. So it's just tons and tons and tons of things are just being buffed in this. So I'll put them all up on screen. You guys can read them off if you want to. I'm not gonna read them all off because this video would be super duper long if I did. But just to name up a few, the uh, Rock Blaster got decreased recovery time. Uh, Renalo's Full Moon got increased cast speed and decreased recovery time. And same thing for Rennie's Dark Moon. Uh, the Carrion Great Sword got increased cast speed and lower dexterity. And uh, Blood Boon got increased damage and increased cast speed and decreased effect startup time and decreased recovery time. That one's been really buffed right there and that's just a few of them there are a, are a ton of incantations being in uh, sorcery things being buffed in here um they are all up on screen so if you want to find the one that you use see if it's been buffed you can go right ahead and pause the video and moving on to weapon skill they pretty much did the same thing they're just buffing a ton a ton 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 of different things in this uh update as you can see this big long list right here is all the buffs for the uh, uh weapon skills so just to name off a few the carrying great sword got increased cast speed and decreased recovery time and increased the damage when charged and made it easier to cause enemies to flinch uh, the moonlight great sword got decreased fp cost and increased cast speed and decreased recovery time and increased the frost buildup effect during the skill duration just that that was really buffed right there um, and just tons of other ones like like the wave of gold that decreases the FP cost and increased cast speed and decreased recovery time. Blood Boon Ritual got increased cast speed. Frenzy Flame Thrust got decreased FP cost and decreased recovery time and uh, decreased madness buildup on self. So that's cool too. And just tons of other ones are all up on screen if you want to pause them and read them. I'm not going to read all of them off because once again, this video would be super duper long if I did. But like the Blade of Death got increased cast speed and decreased recovery time. The Blade of Gold got decreased in stamina cost and increased cast speed and decreased recovery time. And just so many things are buffed. So yeah, and in terms of bug fixes, I'm going to just go over a few major ones. Um, there's a, also a lot of bug fixes. I'm not going to read them all off because I know some people don't care about these. But they fixed the bug where it prevented players from duplicating remembrances at Walking Mausoleum. So that's good that they fixed that. It fixed the bug where it caused some armor to have in incorrect stats. It fixed the bug that caused some enemies to have incorrect visuals and behavior. It also increased online multiplayer stability, so that's cool too. It fixed the bug that prevented players from inputting consecutive attacks when dual wielding thrust swords, so that's cool too. And it also 
And it also changed some stuff with the Rivers of Blood Katana. I don't know what it changed. It's cha it changed something with the stealth mechanic of it. I didn't know there was stealth for Katanas, but apparently there is, and it changed it. They didn't change any of the damage or anything for the weapon. It's still super good, but it changed something with the stealth. I don't know what that means. If someone wants to tell me what that means in the comments, um, I would really appreciate that. But yeah, that's all the main bug fixes. Once again, they're up on screen if you want to read them. Um, so yeah, I think we covered pretty much everything major in the update with all the major um, buffs in terms of weapon skill and sorcery and all the balance adjustments. We covered all those. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't, hey, go down below and give it a like and to get subscribed for more Elder Ring content in the future. And I hope you guys have a good one and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.